one is Gary from GameStorm, and I'm here to answer a question from uh, NT1138's Top 3 Tuesday. The question was asked by Andrew's Games Play, and it is, uh, what are your top three rarest games in your collection? First, I'm going to start out with an honorable mention in my collection, and that would be the Sony PlayStation uh, Demo Disc Volume 1, which I only found very little information out about it on the internet, and I only found uh, pretty much one copy for sale on eBay, so I mean, I don't know how rare this is, but just finding one copy on eBay for sale is pretty rare. It's not valuable or anything, but just thought that would be interesting to throw in there. Okay, the number three, probably rarest thing in my collection. I, um, the number three, I, I don't know for sure how rare this is because I can't really find any info about it. I have found some info about some of the games on Rarity Guide. And it doesn't list them as being like extremely rare, but I can't find them for sale anywhere other than on eBay. And there's not very many copies of them, but it is the Sega Pico. Now, this is a Sega console designed for children probably, I'd say, ages from 4 to 8. It's pretty neat. It's got a lot of uh, cool technology built into it. First, you open it up by pressing this yellow button over here on the side. And it kind of opens up like a laptop. And... It's got this pin here which acts like a mouse on the screen. You know, you move it around on this pad. The pad's not really touch sensitive. There's some kind of technology in the pin that shows because you don't even have to touch the pad and it'll move the cursor around on the screen. And then it's got a click, a button built into the, the pen which lets you select things. And the cartridges, like this is a cartridge plugged into it. And you turn the pages on the cartridges when uh, the you turn the page to whatever it is on the screen will show or whatever it is in the book on the cartridge will show up on the screen. It uses these little sensors up here. I don't know if you can see them to let you know. But what's also cool is like you can select things even up on the pages and it'll know that you're selecting that somehow. I, I don't know how that works. Like, flip that little thing right there, you pull the cartridge out. You know, this is not just a book, it, it's a real game cartridge. And the technology in here is pretty much the same as the Sega Genesis. It has, like, the same processor. It, it's pretty much a Genesis, but I think they added some sound chips to it because some of the, some of the digitized speech in it is pretty good. But that's my number three rarest thing. My number two rarest thing is Ghostbusters for the Sega Genesis. And I got this complete in the box. I got this off of eBay. I didn't pay a whole lot of money for it, like, but I got it for like $22, I think. But it was a pretty good deal. I've seen it. Uh, in one place, and I think they wanted 20 something for it also, but I don't even know if it was complete. It was in the box, but I didn't ask about it. And my number one rarest item in my collection is Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2 for the GameCube. Now, the reason this game is rare is because I think this and the uh, the plus edition of this, which is even more rare, uh, were the only two uh, games on the GameCube that uh, had online support. So everybody knows that online on the GameCube was not successful at all, and uh, that's why the uh, modem and the broadband adapters are also rare for the GameCube. So those are my uh, top three games, and uh, thanks for watching.